so here comes the first attraction of the day i am going on a hike to get inside a volcano that's right we are going inside the volcano it's a dormant one it hasn't erupted for 4000 years so i hope it's not going to erupt uh, today either <laughs> mid may and believe it or not it is snowing <laughs> so that's iceland for you wind can snow any time throughout the 12 months i hope you are able to see the snow uh, on the camera but it's a side is snow and it is really hurting on the face and then behind me so the sun is shining so there's multiple weathers uh, in one single moment all right so we are going to walk over the ice so this is my second walk on the ice in two days so now i'm standing on this bridge and you know what is the craziest thing about this bridge so you see the opening underneath the bridge you know what that is it's actually the american and the eurasian tectonic plates so basically so i'm standing in between north america and europe simultaneously on my left is north america on my right is europe so there is also a helicopter tour you can do to come here to the base camp but guess how much does it cost 100000 icelandic kronas that is 7000 usd uh that's crazy but even with that uh so even though we are at the base camp now we still have to do the last 10 minutes of hike whether you are walking or you are taking the helicopter So, so you have seen a little bit of my 40 minute hike it was a 2 miles walk uh, mostly on a dirt road and uneven surface but not too bad but within 45 minutes we have seen multiple <laughs> weathers we have seen sunshine we have seen clouds we have seen snow we have experienced wind so that's iceland for you uh, the weather can change any moment so once we are at the edge of the volcano we will take an elevator down to the crater and it's a 6 to 7 minutes ride and it's 400 feet deep so approximately 120 meters quite cold inside the volcano around 38 degrees fahrenheit so similar temperature that you have in a freezer i am excited to have this experience like i said you know that's this is the only place in the world where you can experience it we have been divided into two groups uh, a group of five people each and i am in group 2 so we'll be going little later and we are going to get uh, a helmet and harness similar to how it was yesterday for safety reasons i am ready to go inside the volcano see you soon all right so the journey finally begins siyavar ramachandra ki jai
All right, I am finally inside a volcano, 400 feet deep from the surface. And as I mentioned earlier, this is the only place in the world where you can do it. And uh, I'm going to, you know, make rounds and capture video as I go. But I wanted to briefly talk about uh, this experience. So this is a fairly safe environment and there are no insects or no snakes. Well, there are no snakes in Iceland anyways. Yeah, if you have claustrophobia, then this might be tricky. But otherwise, it's a great experience. So I have about 25 minutes uh, to experience this. And uh, let me share some information. So this volcano is unique for two reasons. First of all, this is the only place in the world where you can go inside a volcano and secondly so usually when there is a volcano eruption the lava goes out but in this case that did not happen the lava did not uh, uh, go out it actually fell back and you can see the marks like you know one here and one opposite there so that's the opening where we came from and now we are at the crater let me also share some information about the coloring of the rocks. So the black color is because of basalt. Uh, the red color is because of uh, iron. Green color is because of copper. Yellow is because of sulfur. And white is because of silica. So there are assigned path here uh, on which you can walk. But again, they are all rocks. So it's quite dangerous. If you are not following the assigned path, you may fall and get injured. Also, there is a water dripping from the glacier ice. And that's why it is slippery here too. So you got to be extremely careful. So there is something that I'm going to do now. I'm going to pick up a rock. No, I do not want to steal it from here. I'm not taking anything. But for one particular reason. Remember how I said that the volcano last erupted 4,500 years ago? So I'm holding a piece of history in my hand. So to give you a different perspective, when this volcano was erupting in Iceland, the pyramids were being built in Egypt. So how crazy and insane that is, right? So here in my hand is a history of 4500 years. Alright, let's go. Alright, before I go back up, here is another shot of the volcano. I'll try to do a 180 degree as best as I can as much as my back can stretch without uh, having to fall that's the best i can do and that's the opening of the crater where we uh, came from so let's do a 360 degree and then i'll be on my way Alright, so after an amazing excursion into the volcano, we came back and we had hot soup. It was included in the price I paid, which I will tell you how much it is, I don't remember. Uh, so yeah, there were two options. One is for chicken soup, the other one was vegan soup. So obviously I got the vegan one. And now uh, we have a few more minutes. So I'm going to see a lava hole. Yes, the hole created by lava. And here I am at the lava hole. So basically, this is created by lava 
4,500 years ago. So this is the thing. When lava spews out of Earth, it cools down really quickly. Even though it is uh, boiling at a temperature of 1,200 degrees, but it cools really fast, and it creates you know walls like this in a circle, uh, layer by layer. And that's how you know it becomes a cone afterwards, and lava keeps uh, boiling or spewing out of it. So all these volcanoes mountains that you see, including the one that we uh, went into, so that's how it was created. From fissure or cracks in the earth, the lava would spew, and it will solidify in a circular form, and keep building on top of each other until it becomes a cone. So that's a little bit of a geology lesson for you. these caves that you are seeing they have a network of tunnel in them so you can go from one end and come on the come out somewhere else but the thing is the snow has not yet melted and that's why it is not possible or safe to go inside these caves now let me tell you something very interesting before prisons were built in iceland the people who committed crimes were sentenced to stay in these caves uh, in highlands and other places where no other human beings live and they had to live for almost an entire year or sometime even longer depending on the type of crime they committed so what happened was those outlaws or those criminals they found uh, these caves which were naturally warm because of the heat from the lava eruptions as well as from the steam kept themselves safe and alive now here comes the interesting part these people will come out of these caves and go into the towns and villages and since it was dark for almost 23 hours in a day these people will uh steal the things like candles matchsticks uh food cattle and what not so a, a legend was born that it is santa claus who is doing these kind of stealings and santa claus is not looked upon well so in iceland there are 13 type of santa clauses who are believed to steal different kind of things like you know some santa claus will steal food someone will steal candles someone will steal clothes you know someone will steal little children so on and so forth so this is quite fascinating to um, hear obviously these are all folklores and uh, the stories hope you enjoyed it what i am showing you right now it's harpa it's the icelandic translation of harp which is a which is a musical instrument now if you look at the exterior it's quite unique and it is inspired by the basaltic uh, landscape of iceland if you remember i showed you basalt columns at black sand beach yesterday so i'll take you inside and show you one of the unique features of this place here we go see the roof this is what i wanted to show you so it is one of the attractions here in downtown reykjavik and the best thing is to enter harpa you don't have to pay anything so you can enter harpa for free soak in the views and then be on your way so at this place called roast coffee and bar i got myself a cappuccino as well as a sandwich so this sandwich is little unique because the jam they used it's a chili jam and when i ate it i could feel a little bit of red chili flavor in it so it was uh, something unique so that's why i wanted to try this sandwich now it was expensive <laughs> it costed me 2780 kronas which is approximately uh, 20 dollars nevertheless you know uh, i paid for the experience not for the food now the plan for me is to go and do some souvenir shopping closer to where my hotel is since i'm finishing the day early i'm planning to pack my suitcase so that so that i'm not rushing tomorrow night or on friday morning downtown Reykjavik and now i am visiting Hall Krimkirtska church again my pronunciation is not icelandic 
but it is the best I can do. So I'll try to pronounce it again. All Scrim Kirka Church 6. There is an observation deck uh, in the church. So I'll be going and visiting that. Now this structure is uh, unique for two reasons. So on my right and on my left, these columns, they represent the basalt column that we saw at Black Sand Beach uh, yesterday. And uh, in the middle, it represents a um, volcanic mountain. So that's the one inference of this architecture. The second inference is it looks like a mouth organ. And this architecture is a very important and significant symbol of Icelandic identity. On that note, let's go in and explore the church as well as the observation deck. Come along. So I am at the observation deck in the church tower. At this moment, I am at the lower floor which is completely covered and even windows are closed. Now I am going to go upstairs and then have a view from the upper deck. This upper deck has no windows, that's why it is quite cold and windy here. But I will still capture some nice videos and share it with you. Frankly speaking, when I was told that I should visit the church tower, I was apprehensive about it because I wasn't sure how the views would be. But to be honest, it's a very nice view of uh, Reykjavik and all these colored roofs and building walls look so nice. You know what, a mix of sun and cloud is also adding a very nice texture to the scenery. I hope the camera is doing justice and capturing it well.
Thank you.